Hey guys, Bart here with Tully Television, and today I want to make a quick video, a little update on Jeremy Renner, uh, Hawkeye, if you will. Uh, but before we get into it, I want to thank you all for stopping by, liking, comment, and sharing all that beautiful YouTube stuff. Uh, today is the day I've earned your subscription, and if so, please hit that red subscribe bar down below. Smash that like button, comment, help us get into the algorithm of YouTube so we can go straight to the moon, baby, together. But, yes, I just wanted to do a little uh, update on Jeremy Runner because I touched on it on my stream back on Monday. Um, as some of you may or may not know, I'm just going to run through what happened. Uh, Jeremy Runner uh, near Reno. Uh, like a neighborhood in Reno, um, was trying to clear the path for him and his family with a snow cap machine that helps plow and flatten out snow. Uh, he was trying to do that, and he came across a stranded motorist. Um, he had gotten out of the machine to help the motorist, uh, probably into the machine, uh, but the machine started going without him inside the machine. So fear of damage to anything else around the machine or the machine itself or injury, he attempted to get back into the snow cap uh, and winded up suffering. I, I just want to make sure I got this right here. Um, orthopedic and like uh, chest. Yeah, chest and orthopedic injuries. Um, so... My early guess of maybe losing a leg or losing a limb was uh, way off, thankfully. And um, he's been up for or conscious for uh, 24 hours and longer. Uh, he did make an initial Instagram post, uh, quote, Thank you all for your kind words. I'm too messed up now to type, but I send love to you all, end quote. Um, no foul play involved. It wasn't like the motorist was trying to be funny with Jeremy Runner or like um, someone who had something out for him or nothing like that. It wasn't anything like that. Uh, there was no substances or alcohol involved, uh, even though it was like 9, 30, 10 o'clock in the morning. But um, if there was no substances involved either, it was really just him trying to help somebody out. And... Um, yeah, that's pretty much uh, where we are uh, with with the update. I'm sure it's going to take him a while to uh, recover from such a catastrophic injury. Uh, yeah, at one point it was if people probably were not sure. His family wasn't sure like uh, what the extent of the injuries were. But uh, at 51 and uh, somewhat of an action star, so to speak, and the money to be able to uh, properly recoup and uh, eat properly in this uh, recovery process is highly un, uh, highly likely that he'll come out okay. Uh, overall, you know, I'm sure there's going to be some lingering injuries, maybe uh, probably some severe arthritis in his chest as the years are to come because of I've had a uh, surgery on my chest, and I know how that arthritis h hits your chest, man. Sometimes during really cold weather, it uh, e it takes your breath away, and um, so you might deal with that down the road. I hope that this doesn't uh, deter him from doing good deeds down the road. Uh, sometimes crappy things happen uh, to people who are trying to do good things. And good things happen to bad people as they're trying to do bad things, like being able to have the ability to escape or something, the crime that they're committing. Um, and this is just like really just a bag of bad luck for him. And I hope that uh, he has a speedy recovery, uh, no matter what you may feel about him or his work. Um, no one, for the most part, deserves to you know, go out or almost go out the way he did. And thankfully, he's still going to be around. And uh, um, I'm excited to see him 
uh, down the road for Hawkeye season two, hopefully, or some sort of reappearance. And I uh, definitely am interested in seeing this mayor of Kingston, K Kingstown now. I, I'm sorry if I got the name of that uh, show wrong, but uh, he was about to kick off the season two, uh, like, um, what do you call it, like the media scrub and stuff. So uh, maybe I'll go check that show out and in uh, and support if I got Jeremy. But uh, until next time, peace, Nookums.